All right. In the previous video, I showed you how to build uh, at least the start of a countdown app. And the way this one works, I'm already in preview. If I click on the start button, it just starts counting down and it goes seven, six, five. And in fact, it'll go past zero and start showing negative numbers. And, and in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. You know, what, let's just say when we get to zero, you know, we want it, the app to say something and, and basically stop. Okay. So what I'm going to do just for fun, I'm going to grab a text to speech component. So I'm going to come over to my components and scroll down. I could have also searched for it, but here's my text to speech. So I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to speak some, some, some words. Okay. Um, and just for the hell of it, I'll do it in Spanish. Okay. So I'm going to do Spanish and I'm going to say El Finis. All right. I don't know if that's the proper way to say it, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So let's go to the blocks. Everything's cool right now. When the start buttons click, we enable the timer. And what that causes is this when timer not fires event to basically repeatedly fire. And so this is going to happen a bunch of times. In fact, it'll happen forever. Okay, unless we put an if statement in. So we can ask a question and see if we're at the end, right? So what I'm going to do is grab an if statement. And what I want to ask is, is the count label, is it down to zero? All right, so I'm going to grab uh, equals. And so I'm going to subtract one. If I just got to zero, okay, if count label is now zero, and I'll just go ahead and grab a zero from, from the math block. This is when I want to do my text to speech, okay? So I'm just going to speak, and I'm just going to say Elphanese. Okay, let's just test this out. So, you know, when the user clicks start, enable timer, keep subtracting one, but at some point, when I get down to zero, speak something, okay? Back in the designer, click preview. Let's see what happens. Um, I think we're gonna be, be okay. So it's just subtracting one, the if statement's false, if statement's false, if statement's false. Finally, we get to zero. Elfinis. And then it tells El Elfinis, oh, well, okay, we're not quite there, right? We kind of have a bug. So I'm, I'm glad we said, you know, we got the first part to work, the Elfinese, but we need to stop the action, right? Well, how do you stop the action? Well, you can make it so this event, this timer.fires is disabled, right? So I'll grab this timer enabled equal to true. Of course, now I want to make it to false. Okay, so I'm going to change it back to, to, to false. The other thing I'll do is, you know, let's say I want the user to be able to type start or click on start again. Okay, so I'll go ahead and um, change the count label back to 10. So I'm just gonna, when they get done, it'll say zero just for a second, and then I'll set count label to 10. Okay, um, for fun, I'll also, um, you know, there's a way to just, cause your app to wait for a second. And I'm, I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to let them see the zero or sorry, I'm going to let them see the zero when it gets down to zero. And then I'm going to change it actually to 10 again. Okay. So um, every time the timer fires, subtract one. Okay. If I get down to zero only say the words, disable the timer um, and uh, you know, it'll disable until they click start again, wait a second, and then set the text back to 10. Well, let's just try it out. Let's see. So on the preview, I click start, my countdown begins, the if's false, right? All we're doing is doing the subtraction part here. Um, now when I get to zero, I think um, it says Elfinis goes back to 10. Um, and now the user could click again and, and run the timer again. So anyway, that's, that's the basics of doing a countdown app. And of course, there's all kinds of different frills um, you could add, add to it.